Just keep on breathing. You want to feel your spirit starting to detach its memory from the physical and drawing into the spiritual. Visualize, imagine the breath of Yahweh as you are breathing in. Now I want you to imagine rivers of new wine in that breath. So when you're breathing in the breath, at the same time you're drinking new wine. So with the breath, there's an intoxication. And it's busy elevating your spirit. The joy angels are encircled around you and they are stirring the joy pot. So I want you to start feeling joy starting to rise up within you. And you, are, you and Yahweh are going through these waves of intimacy as you're entangling with his breath. I want you to see yourself entering, as you are breathing in the breath, you are entering into his breath. And as you move into his breath, it is just a complete different dimension. So you've got to picture it. Imagine, allow Jesus to imagine you catching a current in his breath as he breathes you into his being. So just go through the emotions of being raptured into his breath. And you are just going this like a super tube in the cosmos of his breath. And you just go in and you just continue to go into his breath.
try and engage with the tingling in your body as the frequency of his breath and as you are moving deeper in that current is stirring the frequency of your body so focus on the frequency within your body aligning with the frequency in his breath and while you're in that place identify things that do not share his frequency so in other words if you are worrying stress anything like that and i want you to reach into your spirit draw it out and drop it into the river of his breath and you continue to go in deeper Feel your spirit detangling from any of that stuff, any earthly things, and you are gaining momentum as you move deeper in the spirit, in his breath. As you're going deeper, there is a celestial stairway that spirals upward. I want you to move towards that spiral staircase. That staircase is the DNA ladder of Yahweh. Father, Son, Holy Spirit. So when you get to that staircase, you can see it looks exactly like a DNA strand. I want you to look up into that stairway, the DNA strand. And there are dimensions and realms that are like galaxies circling around that DNA staircase around each around each of the dimensions and realms so you can picture them like planets that are orbiting around that DNA strand and then there are millions of angels that are circling those dimensions and realms 
that are circling the DNA strand of Yahweh. Each one of those realms and dimensions is a place of unlocking. So there's just, you cannot count them. But we want to step into one of them. And we want to interlink that dimension with the dimension within our DNA. Firstly, before you go up on that DNA ladder, parallel to that one is your DNA ladder. But you are not going to send that ladder now. Next to you is your angel. And the Holy Spirit comes in like a wind. And he blows in and through your spirit. It's the most gentle gale force in and through you. And you start to melt into that wind of the Spirit. And as you melt into, conform into that wind of the Spirit, you start to entangle and go upwards in the DNA staircase of Yahweh. So take note of the journey as the Holy Spirit is taking you up. The angels that are around, but lose the picture of a physical body because your physical body is not there. Your spirit is like a wind, like water weaving in and through the DNA staircase of Yahweh. Just keep on going higher as the Holy Spirit is lifting you up. Your spirit completely entangled with His. I want you to picture you are moving closer to a nucleus. So it's like this ball that is bright on fire. And you move closer to that ball of fire. 
but it's not fire, it's energy. That energy that you are approaching is the very power that left the breath of Yahweh when he said, let there be light. Your angel is with you. As you stand before that ball of energy, Jesus comes to you and he is offering you communion before you go into that energy ball. So just take a minute and have communion with Jesus. Jesus takes the cloak of righteousness, which is yours. He puts it around you. It's the most radiant, colorful, electrifying garment. And Jesus gives you a key. And that key is shaped in the word limitless. And that key gives you access into that nucleus, that energy ball. Now, before you go in, be aware that there is a tremendous reverence and fear of the Lord in that place. Plenty of joy. Lots of reverence. There is a keyhole in that ball. And you put your key in. And you open up. And a dalet appears, a doorway. And you step into that door of the nucleus. The glory is so intense in there. There is fire all around, but it's not fire. It's like the burning bush. There are entities and spirits moving in and through there, all there to serve the purposes of Yahweh. Those entities are involved with limitless. Each one has a key. Nothing in that place is impossible. So I want you to do an exercise. Imagine a dream, the most impossible dream or desire that you have, and see it floating in that nucleus. I want you to move to that dream and you touch it with your finger. And when you touch it, it becomes exactly what you wanted it to be. That dream fulfilled completely. 
I want you to see someone that is sick. I want you to go to that person, touch that person, and just see them completely healed. I want you to think of five scenarios. Picture them in those balls. I want you to just touch that ball, and it is done. In that sphere, that nucleus, I want you to see that there are other thrones floating around. There are other entities on those thrones that govern in the spirit realm under Jesus. And they start to position themselves around you as you are standing there. And those thrones circle around you and the speed starts to increase. But they're circling you because... One of the Elohims, which is you, has entered into that nucleus. They recognize you are a son of God. And as they are circling, they are moving up and down. around and over your spirit being. Acknowledging, but not worshipping, that you are a son of God. As they are circling around you, they start to part ways to the sides, creating a doorway in the nucleus that is a portal passage into your DNA. So you take that limitless key that you have, and that doorway, you need to unlock it. And you unlock that doorway. As you open that portal, the door disappears. There's no more door anymore, but you still got your key. And there's a celestial ladder 
that is crossing over to your DNA. And you are walking over to your DNA. Same with your DNA, there is a doorway. You need to put that limitless key into. You open it. The door disappears, but you got your key. And a link is established and opened up from the DNA of Yahweh into your DNA. As that link is established, I want you to see the entities and those on the thrones, the angels, moving across into your DNA. I want you to feel it in your body because that is a tremendous divine transfer because they are acknowledging your Elohim status and the Christ in you. So the highway of spiritual activity is unlocked, and I want you to breathe it in. Feel the activation in your spirit. Feel it in your DNA. And I want you to visualize as you breathe in that they all rush through that channel into your DNA. And they're moving up and down your DNA ladder, activating your original intent, activating the original memory in the waters of your body that are in the waters of your spirit. Your primordial being. So take a moment as you go through the breathing exercise and the rushing up and down in your DNA. So what's happening is you are unlocking consciousness of your DNA status as an Elohim. I want you to focus on your spirit being entering into a heightened sense of ecstasy. But through the rushing that is going through your DNA, it is washing away limited. It's washing away doubts, fears. It's washing away impossible, washing away boundaries. It's 
So those angels were released to recalibrate your DNA. In that, the frequency of Yahweh coming from that nucleus is being rushed into your DNA. So you just keep on breathing it and activating it in your body. Now, in any way you want to feel or imagine it, I want you to sense that limited has been completely removed from you. It's not your DNA makeup as an Elohim to function in limited. I want you to just feel that your DNA that there's a free flow of possibility, a free flow of dreaming, free flow of faith. It's like a flushing of your system to rekindle the memory of the original design when you were released in the breath. Feel the new wine that is flowing from that place. It's flooding your spirit. It's igniting hope, passion, dreams. Just keep on breathing it in. What it's doing is intoxicating your spirit with your original design.
is continually get intoxicated with that. Yeah, I want you to move back into the doorway of your DNA by the by the bridge, that celestial bridge. And crossing the bridge, there's an angel coming to you that is going to give you a key to unlock limitless to what is your current desire and dream that you want to fulfill. It should be the first thing that pops up in your spirit. It's the one that's current. I want you to take that key from the angel. When you look at your DNA strand, a realm will pop up that is dedicated to that dream or desire. And I want you to put that limitless key into that realm. And you unlock it. And as you unlock that realm, it it starts to dissipate. I, I nearly want to say disintegrate, but it moves into smaller particles disappearing into your DNA. Like it dissolves into your DNA becoming one. I want you to breathe that in. Sense it entangling with your DNA. The impossibility is entangled with your spirit being regarding that dream, that desire. Angels have been assigned to each of those realms and dimensions of that limitless, of the dream and the desire. And they are entangling with your DNA. I want you to see that one of the entities on the throne that govern in the kingdom is transferred from Yahweh's DNA into yours, into that realm 
that dream and desire to come and fulfill its mandate and scroll. To activate, release limitless so that that dream and desire can be fulfilled. By now, your blood should be boiling. Father, Son, and Holy Spirit joins you. And they melt into one. Like Deuteronomy would say, the Lord God is one. And then they ex it's like a, a nuclear bomb and they explode in your spirit. Releasing their limitless possibilities, abilities, power into your spirit. Explodes into your DNA. But we don't have to go back through the celestial bridge. It's open. It's activated. You just start to slide down your DNA like a super tube. And the angels are standing at the bottom like a trampoline catching you. And they throw you back up again. <laughs> and you slide down again. I catch you. You walk with Jesus. And you back into the breath of Yahweh. And you're in the current of his breath. And he breathes you in to the place where you are sitting, lying down. And you can open your eyes. There was quite a bit that happened there. So I want to give an opportunity just for those who would like to share, just to experience. And um, it currently is recording, and then I will put it off after a while for those who'd like to share outside of the recording. But if someone would get the ball rolling, it would be marvelous.
I like the exercise for me is that I can go into that when I do an activation, I can go into that place of that nucleus, you know, to get a key and to activate that dream as I engage it or that desire. Okay, go do it. I'll share it very shortly because um, most of it is too personal at the moment, but um, what, what really touched me was that as I was coming from the nucleus into my own DNA, that even before you had said anything, I, I felt it in my body. So it was like, oh, I get two perspectives at once. I get the perspective from, from the outside here, my body, and from the, and being able to see on the inside what, what's happening uh, between Yahweh's DNA and mine. And that just totally blew my mind. Like, wait, I can be at two places at once, <laughs> or at least having two perspectives at once. And... Um, and then the other thing that was really beautiful was that how the the angels started to fix things right away. There were parts of the DNA that they started to repair. And, and in the end, I even saw them extending the ladder by a whole other piece on top. And so that was, yeah, those were the kind of things it's like, whoa, mind blowing. <laughs> and so. Um, so thank you. Wonderful. Thank you, Dorit. Hello. Hello. Hi, Shal. <laughs> How are you? Oh, well, thank you. Noel. Hello, Noel. <laughs> Great. Yeah, I just wanted to share like what immediately was like, almost like gold dust. The DNA looked like gold dust. Yeah. When you ask the angels to to impart i i saw I, it was like gold dust inside the dna strands and i saw like broken strands start, starting to restore like you know like it was like almost like broken wood pieces the, the ladder yeah. started becoming whole and it just became more gold more gold if i can put it that way yeah but eventually when you ask the trinity to join the ladder it just became like like a storm like a tornado storm sure and it was like crazy tornado storm spiraling upwards yes wow amazing stuff thank you for sharing <laughs> thank all. you for the opportunity <laughs> thank you anybody else would like to share Okay, I'm going to put the recording off.